Well, good morning, and I just left a, uh, a sales training that I did with a group of awesome financial advisors here in Tupelo, and um, you know, what we trade on was the five keys to increase your sales influence, and a lot of times when we think about sales, we, we get that little, uh, uh, that icky feeling, and what we think of is that, that used car salesman where they've got the slick back hair, and all they're trying to do is make a buck or make a sale, right? When, when if you look up sales in the dictionary, Webster defines sales as exchanging a commodity for money. Well, in the John Maxwell team, the way we define leadership is we define leadership as influence, nothing more and nothing less. And I believe we can, we can say the same thing for sales. Sales is influence, nothing more and nothing less. And when we think about sales in that way, it takes away that little icky feeling because when we talk about sales, what we're talking about is a building a relationship, adding value to other people, and exchanging our services of value with those that would exchange it for money at some point in the future. So sales really isn't all that icky and it's something that I actually enjoy and love training on. So if you're needing help with your sales training and your team, I would love to help you out with that. But again, think of sales as influence, nothing more and nothing less, and you're adding value to other people. Hope you have a great day and God bless.